one of the stars of the Vegas Golden Knights, their left winger, James Neal, joining us on the program. James, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot. Uh, you got a couple of off days. What do you do on your off days? Yeah, we just had two off days, so I uh, just regroup a little bit, get some rest. We got a little more than expected, but uh, it's always good this time of year. Wait, what, do you do anything fun? Um, I mean, we, we all hang out a little bit. We had a barbecue the other day with a bunch of the guys and, and just laid low, but uh, nothing too crazy. You know, we're, we're at that time of year where um, rest is uh, the biggest thing for us. How surprised are you that here you are in the second round playing the Sharks? Um, no, I think, uh, you know, throughout the year, it's, um, you know, how confident we are with our game and how well we played all year. I thought we, uh, you know, we were ready to play the Kings. We're a fast team and, um, we knew exactly what to expect. I mean, I think we, I don't think any of us thought we would, uh, beat them in four, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we felt, felt good about our game and the way it went. So, uh, it's, it's nice. Yeah. But this doesn't happen to an expansion team, James. If I would have told you at the beginning of the year. I know you're going to at least the second round of the playoffs. In all honesty, what would yeah. you have said? No, I know, but that, that being said, too, is expansion teams don't usually get Mark Andre Fleury as their goaltender. That's true. <laughs> Stanley Cup champion. So, um, you know, we had uh, you know management and everyone put put together uh, put the pieces in place and put together a really solid team. So, um, you know, when we went into camp and we started. Uh, you know, getting to know each other and becoming a hockey club. Uh, you know, I think we knew we were, we were going to be competitive. Um, I mean, I think we you know, did a little bit better than everyone thought, but uh, we had good players. So um, when you have that and you're all you're all building towards something and, and you want to win and you want to win for each other and, and good things good things happen. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the fans here have been insane, and uh, it's just been an amazing ride so far. Well. I, you know, I liken this what I saw with Nashville last year, and then you certainly see that in Vegas with these fans. But uh, it, describe that fan base or what it's like for a home home ice game to people who haven't experienced that. Yeah, I mean, our rink is – well, our rink, it's a unique spot for our rink right in the strip there, right? So um, people can party all day, have fun, and do whatever they want on the strip, and, and then they walk right down the street a little bit, and you walk into T-Mobile into our arena, so – um, the, the atmosphere in our rink is, uh, it's intimate. It's, it's, uh, it's tight. It's a tight rink. So fans are right on top of you. So you can hear them, you can feel them. And, um, when you have that, it's, uh, you know, it makes it fun every single night. So, um, they love it. Uh, you know, there's 2 million people that live, uh, that live in Vegas that, uh, you wouldn't expect all you think of is a strip. So there's a lot of local people that are here and are dying for a hockey team. So, uh, they've really made it their own, and uh, we've really enjoyed playing in front of them. You got celebrity fans? I think you got everything. We got, uh, you know, and it's, uh, as we continue to go here, I'm sure there'll be more and more celebrity fans. But, yeah, we, there's someone at our game every night, and um, it's it's pretty cool to see. You get the uh, nickname Big Game James. That's a lot to live up to. What do you think of that nickname? Um, I don't know who gave me that nickname, but I think that I just got that nickname a few days ago. But, um, <laughs> usually, usually they call me the real deal, but I'll take big game, big game James too. So, uh, thanks. Um, but yeah, no, you just try to, uh, you know, you, these are the games you play for. This is the time of year that, um, you want to be at your best and, um, if you can have a, a big game and they want to call you that, then, uh, I'll, I'll take it. But I like the real deal since it's Vegas and it's cards. So the real deal Neil, I get that. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get that. Do you know what you have in common with Alex Ovechkin, Jonathan Taves, and uh, Patrick Kane? I do. Ooh. Well, I think I do. Okay, wait a minute. James is going to do a stat of the day. He doesn't know he's doing a stat of the one? day. Is, is, is there one? And there's one other, though. Uh, yes. Thomas? Thomas Vanek? Thomas. Thomas Vanek. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So he's aware of his stat of the day. Let me give the music here, and then you're going to give your own stat of the day here, James. So, Seaton, hit the music. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now you can. We have our own house band now here, James. I okay, so <laughs> That's great. They, I mentioned these players, and I wanted to know if James Neal knew what he had in common with Alex Ovechkin, Jonathan Taves. 
Patrick Kane, and Thomas Vanek. So go ahead with your own stat of the day, James. Yeah, my own stat of the day. No, I scored uh, I scored twenty uh, plus goals in uh, all ten seasons I played. So uh, that's the stat of the day. Don't well, I let my teammates know that stat of the day all the time. Stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what stat of the day. Stop. James, congratulations. Feel good story and a great story for the NHL and certainly for that uh, that city as well. Uh, congrats and thanks for joining us. Yeah, it is. Thanks a lot, Dan. Appreciate it. That's James Neal, Vegas Golden Knights. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.